It is hard for the ape to believe he descended from man. The opera is to music what a body house is to a cathedral. The only cure for contempt is counter contempt. Man is a beautiful machine that works very badly. Husbands never become good. They merely become proficient. Don't overestimate the decency of the human race. As the arteries grow hard, the heart grows soft. When women kiss, it always reminds one of prize fighters shaking hands. What men value in this world is not rights, but privileges. Temptation is an irresistible force at work on a movable body. Poetry has done enough when it charms, but prose must also convince. Criticism is prejudice, made plausible. A bad man is the sword who weeps every time he speaks of a good woman. All government, of course, is against liberty. Man weeps to think that he will die so soon. Woman, that she was born so long ago. The cynics are right, nine times out of ten. In war, the heroes always outnumber, the soldiers ten to one. A professor must have a theory, as a dog must have fleas. We must be willing, to pay a price for freedom. Most people want security in this world, not liberty. A man may be a fool, and not know it, but not if he is married. Injustice is relatively easy to bear. What stings is justice. Love is the triumph of imagination over intelligence. A judge is a law student who marks his own examination papers. Love is like war, easy to begin but very hard to stop. Adultery is the application of democracy to love. Life is a dead-end street. Honor is simply the morality of superior men. For every complex problem, there is an answer that is clear, simple, and wrong. The urge to save humanity is almost always a false front for the urge to rule. Every election is a sort of advance auction sale of stolen goods. There is always an easy solution to every problem, neat, plausible, and wrong. An idealist is one who, on noticing that roses smell better than a cabbage, concludes that it will also make better soup. Democracy is a pathetic belief in the collective wisdom of individual ignorance. Every decent man is ashamed of the government he lives under. Life is a constant oscillation between the sharp horns of dilemmas. Democracy is only a dream. It should be put in the same category as Arcadia, Santa Claus, and heaven. It is hard to believe that a man is telling the truth when you know that you would lie if you were in his place. Temptation is a woman's weapon and man's excuse. A newspaper is a device for making the ignorant more ignorant and the crazy crazier. All men are frauds. The only difference between them is that some admit it. 
I myself deny it. Conscience is the inner voice that warns us that someone might be looking. It is even harder for the average ape to believe that he has descended from man. Democracy is the theory that the common people know what they want and deserve to get it good and hard. Nobody ever went broke, underestimating the taste of the American public. Democracy is the art and science of running the circus from the monkey cage. Love is the delusion that one woman differs from another. We are here and it is now. Further than that, all human knowledge is moonshine. The only really happy folk are married women and single men. To be in love is merely to be in a state of perceptual anesthesia, to mistake an ordinary young woman for a goddess. Bachelors know more about women than married men. If they didn't they'd be married too. The one permanent emotion of the inferior man is fear, fear of the unknown, the complex, the inexplicable. What he wants above everything else is safety. A good politician is quite as unthinkable as an honest burglar. Every man is his own hell. Conscience is a mother-in-law whose visit never ends. The difference between a moral man and a man of honor is that the latter regrets a discreditable act, even when it has worked, and he has not been caught. A cynic is a man who, when he smells flowers, looks around for a coffin. The common argument that crime is caused by poverty is a kind of slander on the poor. Women have simple tastes. They get pleasure out of the conversation of children in arms and men in love. The chief value of money lies in the fact that one lives in a world in which it is overestimated. In the duel of sex, woman fights from a dreadnought and man from an open raft. The penalty for laughing in a courtroom is six months in jail. If it were not for this penalty, the jury would never hear the evidence. Nine times out of ten, in the arts as in life, there is actually no truth to be discovered. There is only error to be exposed. Every man sees in his relatives and especially in his cousins, a series of grotesque caricatures of himself. Morality is the theory that every human act must be either right or wrong, and that 99% of them are wrong. Communism, like any other revealed religion, is largely made up of prophecies. To die for an idea, it is unquestionably noble. But how much nobler it would be, if men died for ideas that were true. Before a man speaks, it is always safe to assume that he is a fool. After he speaks, it is seldom necessary to assume it. It is impossible to imagine Goethe or Beethoven being good at billiards or golf. No matter how long he lives, no man ever becomes as wise as the average woman of 48. Man is always looking for someone to boast to. Woman is always looking for a shoulder to put her head on.